Aloha. Good evening. This is Andrew Aloha Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona with Spiritual Image Productions on Facebook Live. Aloha. Anyhow, um, I'm getting ready because in about 50 minutes, we're going to be, be doing transmission meditation on the air, the first um, world transmission meditation group. I have, I have uh, there are people from all over the world, literally, that join me um, doing this meditation. Uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't know that they do, they join me every week, but they join me, especially on the full moon. And in fact, next week, we're doing a, a full moon meditation. It's going to be on Wednesday, but let me see, I think it's going to be on Wednesday. Time out. I have to check this out to make sure because um, I believe, yeah, it's going to be next Wednesday. And um, yeah, I, I, because I, I'm, I'm headed uh, to Tucson next Wednesday to do some, um, some uh, appointments. And then um, I'll be, but I'll be in Tucson on Wednesday night and I'll be settled in and, and uh, able to to join you on that meditation. I mean, I would join you anyhow. I, I, I may I may do the meditation earlier or later, but usually I join in, and it's not, uh, I, and, um, depending on the situation, I'm, I'm able to uh, join you uh, either later, uh, usually uh, on at the same time that, that I schedule it, so it'll be like that. So anyhow, I'm going to be um, putting in on Blog Talk Radio and also free conference call. And if you go in, if you don't know anything about transmission meditation, go to my website, spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com. On the left-hand side, there's a link that says um, transmission meditation on the air. Click on that. There's, a, <clears throat> there's an e-book, which you should definitely read about it, and then that will give you all the ins and outs. And then there's also an introduction video that I, I put together to specifically do the meditation with this particular group. So that way it'll give you in and out on how to work with this particular group. And, uh, and um, it may not be standard with all the rest of the groups. And that's because um, it's it's a whole different, um, it's not a whole different ballgame, but it, it is different because because I, I've been connected with Benjamin Cram and he's the originator of the transmission meditation group uh, in England and uh, all in the world. And so um, it'll give you an idea in terms of how to work with this particular group. So, you know, um, let me see. I, um, I, w- I want a, a, a big um, aloha and a blessing to all those people involved in, with Hurricane Michael. Um, in fact, um, what I want to do right now is just give a moment of silence for those people, uh, especially the people that, that uh, passed on over there. there was, uh, I don't know how many fatalities there were, but there was a pretty, I, I think 75, maybe more, I don't remember, but, but you know, there was, there was a number of fatalities from that hurricane, so I want to just give a moment of silence for those people, and that they be honored, and uh, that hopefully, and I'm assuming that they'll, they've, all, they've already made their, their, their crossing, uh, they've already crossed over in safety and found to, to the spirit world where they're where they, sh- they should be, they're supposed to be that. <clears throat> what happens is they get they get stuck, and uh, and we call them ghosts. They stay they stay in spirit form, and then they hang around because because it's sometimes a lot of times uh, they don't even know that they're um, dead yet already. So, okay. so one moment of silence, and then we're going to come back, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna finish out uh, the rest of this this um, update.
I um I don't have a timer here, so I'm a, I'm assuming that's pretty close to that one eighteen minute. But anyhow, um, I hope uh, hopefully all those people that that um that uh passed over there in Florida uh, have gone on and um are going forward with their endeavors whatever that may be. Uh, um anyhow, uh, let me see. And and by the way, if 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 you're really hot over where you're at. Just come on over here to floor, uh, to Flagstaff. Uh, it's nice and cold, man. It's freezing cold. In fact, um, I think yesterday or today it was snowing. Um, yesterday it was snowing. Uh, it wasn't a big flake, but uh, there was there was snow on the ground. Uh, it, it wasn't uh, a lot, but it, uh, um, but it, it's definitely winter here in Flagstaff. And I think it's early. I think it's going to be a long winter. So whatever that's worth, whatever that means, um, it's been. The longest winter I've seen here has been, there's been snow all the way into June, I believe. There was snow in June, and uh, it was melting away. Wow. That was a really long winter. That's just like the point. So, and I think it's going to be a long winter here. Um, and I don't, I don't think people are going to be happy about that. But, but <clears throat> at least we'll have uh, plenty of precip precipitation and uh, a lot, you know, it'll be, we'll, we won't have to worry about water. Uh, although next year, um, during fire season, I don't know if that'll, uh, what kind of effect that will have on that, but hopefully, I, I'm assuming we'll be okay to know that. So, um, now the last time I talked to you guys, and I know it's been, what, about a week and a half or so, um, <clears throat> I talked to you about a movie called Uncle Drew. I said, man, I went out to Redbox and got Uncle Drew. And I was going to check it out, and I thought, man, it's going to probably going to be a good, funny movie. And it, and it was, it was. I was right, uh, and, and and not that I have to be right, but but I enjoyed it. I don't know what what kind of movies y'all y'all like there now. You know, here, uh, but but it was it was interesting. It was it was heartwarming, and um, it was you know it, it was about old people, and you know it. it I, I'm not completely there yet, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. And um, I and I you know I I, I guess it, it it depends on how you define old. Oh, there there are people literally there are people on this planet that are what 500 years old, 700 years old, literally 500 years old, and they 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 look like they're what 30 or 40, and that's it. That uh, literally that's that's that you know again I guess it depends on how you define old because. Because you know, around here, maybe uh, 50 or 60 might be old for people, you know. And but but um, it, it it depends. I get you know. I I guess it depends on the community, the environment, the people, and you know your perceptions and so forth. So, so anyhow, um, it was about these old geezers that were that were um. Connecting to the past, I think that that's a good phrase, and getting in touch with their their past, and and you know that's what that's another thing about old people, about older people, is that you know they connect with young kids, and young kids are, a lot of times are, are confused that they they don't know obviously they don't know everything, and so old people are really instrumental in helping out younger kids get getting their footing and getting their focus and getting their you know their direction, uh, and you know a lot of them are really lost, and you know their parents are lost um, uh, as well, not just them. And so you know just getting a little bit of advice from an old geezer and an old folk uh, makes all the difference in the world. So that's why it's important for for the young and the old and the in between to and to be in community with each other. Uh, you, know, you know it takes a it takes a whole community to raise a child. Have, have you heard, ever heard of that? A lot of people have. It does. It really does because you know, there's all kinds of, of, of perceptions, all kinds of, of things that, that young people don't know about. Um, and just by talk, sitting there and talking to, to an, or a, it's an older person will help them understand life a lot better, a lot more whole rather than partly, you know, and you know, that makes a lot of difference in the world. Anyhow, uh, if you get a chance to watch Uncle Drew and you like basketball, um, 
then I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, now, another show that I watched, I, I think I think it took me about uh, five days or so to go through both seasons. There's only two seasons. Uh, designated uh, Survivor. I don't know if, if you, you get Netflix or anything like that. But, um, you know, Net, Netflix drives me nuts because they have a lot of shows for kids, you know, for high school kids. Uh, really? I want to watch... High school kid movies, um, you know, so, and sometimes they have some something that's meaningful and interesting and worthwhile checking out to see what how you know high school kids and kids are thinking these days. But but um for the most part, oh my god, uh, I, I anyhow, but but um but they, and then you know there is shows like Designated Survivor, and there's a, 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 some other shows that I found there. I don't really like to watch the series because they. You have to go back and keep watching and watching and watching until you finally get to the end. And and the designated survivor, they're, they're very. They're, they ended the second season, and, and it was it was cheesy. I didn't I didn't like the way they ended it, but but uh, I I you know they were on the impression with the impression that they they were going to continue on, and I don't know that they're going to. I don't think um it was interesting. There was some um some cheesy stuff in there that was. That I thought, oh, really? That would happen? You know, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff happening, and you know, uh, oh, I'm gonna fly to Guam, to Guam and and I, I gotta go and inspect this, blah blah blah. And you know, I'm I'm there. I'll be there tomorrow night or uh, this afternoon in three hours. Really? Oh, come on. So anyhow, there is some some stuff in there that you know, um, and, but it, it's not stuff that like. Takes away from the show that that much, and you, you just have to, you know, you just have to wonder how how in the hell are they getting all this paperwork done in inside uh, one hour? They have to go and and they have like a thick book like this of, of paperwork uh, of mandates that they, that they have to come that they have to put together for for a bill to pass and all this blah blah blah. Really, they're going to do it in one hour? Oh, come on, give me a break. But anyhow, uh, but some of the issues that he presented were interesting, and um, and I thought that you know that if you looked at it from the perspective of the White House, of a, a president, of a, um, a senior staff, or whatever, um, you know those, those are issues that I, I think a lot of them, a lot of them are real and um, very very um, spontaneous. A lot of them because some of the action that was going on was like awesome boom. It's happening right there, right there on the spot, not in the blue. So, and is it possible? Yeah, it's not, a lot of it is, but, but um, you know, there's, there's, there's some, uh, there's some stuff that they, they could, uh, they could have shifted around or something like that that would make it even better. But anyhow, um, if you if you get into politics and you get into power structure and power, power struggle and power um, uh, BS, then you know, you can check that out and see what you think. Um, Towards the end, I, I think it, it, it got to be, I think cheesy. I, I guess is the best word, and so um, and maybe that's why I got cut. Because, and I think a lot of shows, a lot of um, uh, series uh, shows, the uh, same thing happens to them. They the things get redundant. Uh, you know, they, they they capture at the beginning of the of the series, they capture a, a, a whole uh, a whole um, what do I want to say? Drama, I guess maybe. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it could be funny too. But anyhow, they, they they get into it, and people are like a gun ho, and and they really get excited, and then they go, oh wow, this new show, blah blah blah, and all this stuff stuff's happening. And then I think I think they, you know, people, you know, in this day and age, people their attention their attention span gets really really um um like lame after a while uh because you know because of technology you know they play video games they're they're there for a little while and then and then they're bored because you know or whatever you know or and they just lose their their attention span and and pretty soon the, the uh, and i think this happens to all the shows uh or most of them or all of, I, I guess all of them but um after a while they wane and they Things start to get redundant. The people start to get bored, and then, and then they they just start writing shit that that's meaningless, 
and not even worthwhile even just uh, looking at or listening to. So it's like that. So I guess maybe that's why I got cut. But towards the end, um, it was it was waning and and not not enough. I mean, there was stuff going on, but but some of the stuff I don't know. It was um, I guess maybe it, was, it wasn't worthwhile for another. Time. So um, now the other show, the other movie that just came out, I want to go see it on the big screen, but I don't know if I have time. We'll see. But uh, the, a Star is Born, the remake of a Star is Born with um. What's that guy's name? A Lady Gaga and uh, I, I, Cooper, Bradley Cooper. Uh, I seen the previews to that, and it seemed like it seemed like it's, it's going to be a good movie. I, I don't know. I'm, um, I don't. I didn't check to see if, uh, how how it did at the box office. Um, I'm not, I don't think it's breaking records, but so I, I think. It, but I, I think it's probably at least uh, holding out and and and. And people are liking it. I don't know. But when I seen the the previews, it seemed like a really uh, good movie to watch. Um, now the next thing that I want to talk about is um, Halloween and Dia de los Muertos, or um, there's something else that they were calling it. But anyhow, folks, I put in I, I put in some a couple of of um, of links to uh, um, in, in Tucson uh, every year they have a uh, All Souls procession, which is a celebration of Dia de los Muertos uh, or All Souls Day. I think is another phrase they use. But um, it's probably the biggest uh, Dia de los Muertos that that uh, the celebrated in the United States. Period. Excuse me. Um, I think in Mexico, probably uh, maybe Spain, and maybe. A Couple other places, it's it's probably even lar larger there than in Tucson. But um, what a few years ago, about three four years ago, I actually went to it. I was living in Tucson, and uh, I did. I they they started out about five. Well, I, mean, I want to say five, but maybe it was two. I don't know. But it was it was more than two miles away, and they had this like like parade or a procession, um, and. They had these urns that they, they carried across, and all these people, uh, their faces were all looked like like skeletons and you know dead people and all this stuff. It was, it was like all these I, I want to say zombies, but they weren't really zombies. Uh, you know, they weren't like like their all their faces were were um, cut up and all this stuff. They they looked more like skeletons than 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 people. Um, and so anyhow, they they they. They had it was I don't know it, it was a really a pretty interesting thing. So anyhow, the um they walk across all these all uh, you know all these different streets and along all these streets and they end up um I I think there's a a, a hospital called St Mary's I I can't remember but you know near there they they end up there and they have this this whole lot this whole uh, big space. And they have uh, all these pyro effects, uh, you know, pyro pyrotechnic uh, technic effects. Um, they put the urn, this big old huge urn, uh, urn, I should say, um, in this place. And then you know, they, they people uh, have these papers filled out, uh, honoring their loved ones that, that have already passed on, uh, their grievances, and letting uh, releases of things they want to let go. And it, you know they have these, uh, and and I I put the links on there on on if you want to check it out I put the links for 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 uh, that paper it's, uh, all processions um, prayer form so you fill it out and then you put it in, in this urn and I don't know they do these prayers or something that these cer this this ceremony oh no this 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 uh, ritual and then they burn all these, these papers and so for the next year. Uh, you, you, you know, you're you're are nearer nearer to you than 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 before if you've never done this before. So um, anyhow, they they come and they help you and assist you and guide you throughout the next year, and and then you keep the process the following year. So I've done this for about three or four years in a row, and I remember years ago I was I was living I was um yeah I was living in Sedona, and for some reason I was out in the desert and I was kicking back. 
and it was the weirdest thing. I had <laughs> this this uh, this ghost. It was a it was a cowboy. Uh, I don't know who this guy was, and he was there. He, I must have been there years and years prior to. But there was this 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 spirit of this cowboy that came into my car. I was kicking about sitting down, and he was right next to me sitting there. And he didn't talk to me. He didn't say anything. And I thought, wow, this is really weird. And then, and then uh, the next day, I figured out that it was all processions that this this Dia de los Muertos. I go, oh wow. So ever since then, you know, I, I I thought, well, I maybe I need to honor my 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 uh, my my loved ones. And then I this is when I started learning about the Dia de los Muertos and what it means and what it's all about and so forth. And so I did. I I. I, I, I don't know if I did that, uh, did it that year or not. Maybe I just said a little prayer or something like that about, uh, you know, honoring my loved ones. But then, um, then after that, I started uh, working with, uh, uh, honoring the, the Dia Los Muertos and then going with that and working with that and so forth. So anyhow, I ended up in Tucson with this, this all procession thing and that really, um, Took uh, this this holiday. This it's actually a two day holiday, November second. Uh, Dia Dia de los Muertos, and then all days of uh, All Souls Day. And so um, on November first, um, you know people are celebrating and honoring uh, their loved ones. And then on no November second, they're 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 rounding out everything and finishing up, and then and then they move on. So anyhow, uh, ever since then, I um, I I I've done that. It seems like my that that year. That 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 I've been working with uh, the following year has been a lot more meaningful, maybe uh, beneficial, uh, better. I don't know, but but um, but you know they they seem my loved ones seem to come around um, and and assist me, and guide me, and support me whenever you know whenever I need some help or something like that. So it's kind of like that. So by honoring them, they actually that that opens the doors uh, for them to. To come and, and, and welcome and, and you know and you're all welcome welcoming them as well uh, into your life and that they come by and and they help you and support you in any way they can and are able to and, and, and willing to do so, so, so kind of like that so, so anyhow I recommend that that, that you, uh, again I put I put the link for the for that paper on there uh, on the right hand side um, for the comment section of that so that you can go in there and download it and fill it out yourself and then. Uh, now I also put the link for for the the Tucson um, all processions um, uh, events information, and so and it it, it discusses uh, all the as much though the urn and all this other stuff. So you can go and read about all that yourself if you want. And then, um, but if, if, if either you can fill out the paper and then uh, send it in, or you find form there there on the. The website you can fill it out there and 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 submit it there and they'll they'll put the paper in the urn for, urn for you um, or you can just fill out the paper and then um, and then just go and and, uh, and either if you have an urn an urn uh, I have I, I believe it or not I have a, I have a, happen to have a small one but um, you can use an urn or just somewhere where it's safe to burn it or a fireplace and do a little prayer a little ceremony. And then just burn it yourself on the second or the first of November, and then um, and then that that'll be uh, still in alignment with honoring um, your your loved ones that have already gone by. Gone on. Anyhow, it's like that. Um, and by the way, I, I, I'm pretty sure somehow somewhere down the road, Halloween be, uh, came uh, what. Uh, Became a spinoff of Dia de los Muertos. Some, some American, probably some American or somebody said, "Oh, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do the Dia de los Muertos." So we're, well, so we're going to commercialize Dia de los Muertos, call it Halloween, and and we'll just have fun with it. And people can, you know, be fantasy people that that all the all these fantasy people that they want to be and go out and and trick or treat or whatever. So, so to me. Uh, Halloween is nothing more than a commercialized version of Dia de los Muertos and, and All Souls Day. So, um, and, and they, they do it, and of course they do it a, a day early. If you notice that, they do it a day early so, so that they can get in on, 
on the commercialization and make and and um and and make more money off the com commercialization of Dia de los Muertos than than not because if they were to do it afterwards, of course they wouldn't make as much money. So the so they got to jump on on Dia de los Muertos and uh, they're making extra money or something. So that's besides the point. So anyhow, um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So there. Um. Oh, uh, uh, well, Friday, uh, fr and I, I'm still working on, I'm, I'm probably going to be putting that up tonight, the Go to Nate Psychic Show, where I'm going to be doing readings on on Friday night. So if you're interested in, in getting a free reading, uh, a mini reading, then uh, you, you'll want to plug in on on Friday night uh, on, on um, the Go, um, uh, on uh, Blog Talk Radio. And I, I think that I did I put the link on there for that. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to put the link on there for that. But I'll, I'll, I'll when, when I uh, put this out there, blast this out, and then, uh, then I'll put the link on there. So you can check it out for yourself. But anyhow, um, we have the Golden Age Psychic Show, and then on Sunday, and that's that's from seven to nine p.m. Arizona time, which right now is is the same as as um, California time. And then about two weeks from now, actually, yeah, about two weeks from now. Uh, we're going to be going into um, um, daylight savings time, and so California will be behind us one hour. And um, Arizona doesn't change, doesn't have, a, uh, doesn't doesn't recognize uh, Cal um, daylight savings time, so we won't be changing. And but California and the rest of the states, most of the rest of the states will. So anyhow, so it'll be like that. Um, let me see. Yeah, in in about 20 minutes, we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the uh, transmission meditation on the air. Of the the uh, it's it's group meditation and regular group meditation, which we do every Wednesday, and then uh, the full moon meditation will be next next Wednesday, um, uh, which will actually be on Block Talk Radio and not just uh, free, free conference call. So um, and also on Sunday we're going to be doing uh, uh trans um. You see, intimate time sharing relationships that can be fulfilled. We're doing the relationship show, and uh, co host Loray, um, uh, Maha Bikini Loray, will be joining me. We're going to be talking about masculinity to avoid stigma. It's actually a program that was introduced uh, at the University of Texas, uh, Austin. In fact, I talked to them today about it, and um, and so. Uh, they, I, we don't have any of their members uh, coming on, but but and from what from what they're telling me, from what it sounds like, uh, there it, it was um, under a mental health program, and so there was a conflict about about um, this program teaching or, or how would you become a teach, uh, showing or yeah teaching males or actually females too I think, but males how to become aware of, 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 of sexual behavior and so anyhow um, there was a whole conflict that came, uh, that came from this concerning it concerning it being a mental health issue and so we're going to be talking about that stuff and um, uh, and, and um, maybe some, uh, some well some other stuff about about this course that and again from what it sounds like they're dis discontinuing this, this course, but I think there's probably other courses out, out there in other colleges, maybe not that many, maybe only a handful, if even that. Uh, and so we'll be talking about that. And, and is, is there a need for such, such a program uh, to teach people guidelines about consent, about sexual behavior, about their actions, work, and deeds, uh, so, so that everybody can be on the same page? Uh, it, it is, it, you know, again, is that something that needs to be brought forward and mandated or not? So we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about that. So anyhow, um, I only got about uh, 15 minutes left, uh, it's actually, and um, I'm going to put out the, um, the the transmission meditation information out so you all can connect if you want. And again, if you haven't done transmission meditation, I would suggest that you go read the ebook. Uh, by Benjamin Cram, um, transmission and meditation for the new age, and then also watch the introductory video so that that uh, you can um, 
who can um, know how to how to join us on this with this particular group. Um, and so, and, and you don't have. I mean, the the great thing about this meditation is you don't have to uh, call in. You don't have to even turn on the internet. All you do is uh, join join in at the specific time frame that that um, that you want to. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to join us exactly at this from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, California time. You can jo join us uh, earlier or later beyond that, or and you can join in the group for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, or two hours, although full two hours. Uh, and, and, and even beyond that, the meditation a lot, a lot of times is, is three hours long, but I only do it for two hours because uh, that's the most that the, that blog talk radio will allow me to, to do it for, for, for one thing. And, and usually, the, especially with a lot of beginners, that, that, that's funny. Two hours is plenty of time. Um, and, and because a lot of times they won't, they won't even laugh at your brush. That's just has a point. So anyhow, um, I want to thank all of you for stopping by. Uh, and I'll probably mention this thing about Halloween again, uh, either next week or the um, And then next week again, we're doing the full moon meditation, 7 to 9 p.m. on Wednesday. And um, other than that, I think that's a wrap. And I'll, I'll put in the links for, for the Golden Age Psyche Show and the Relationship Show, so that way you can check it out if you want. Um, and then go from there. Have a God Goddess week, hump day, I should say, to the love that you are, always have been, and always will be.